Kamala Harris as a candidate. Presidential candidate Donald Trump was condemned for showing up at a National Association of Black Journalists and telling it to them like it is. Whatever the condemnations of candidate Donald Trump, at least he showed up. Kamala Harris cannot speak to any reporters because either she's too much of a coward or Kamala Harris was ordered by her superiors not to talk to any journalists. If we go watch here, they brought out a podium for Kamala Harris to speak about the visit by the Israeli Prime Minister six days ago. She came out, gave a vapid speech blaming both sides for the Israeli-Hamas war, which was ordered by Iran. Watch her here as she refuses to take any questions from reporters and just waves at them. The whole point of this press conference was to show the leadership of Kamala Harris as an acting president and future president. Let's watch the leadership of Kamala Harris. Watch what she does at the end here. Do what we can to prevent the suffering of innocent civilians and let us condemn anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, and hate of any kind. Well, how dramatic. And let us work. Well, you really had to our country. step out on a you. ledge there. This is supposed to show her leadership. Our country. I thank you. And she can't take any questions. Look, she waves. She waves. I can't take any questions. Why can't she take questions? And hate of any kind. And let us work to unite our country. I thank you. The whole point of this press conference was to show her leadership, and you failed. Kamala Harris, you can't take questions? Why not? You're the leading candidate for your party. The only reason Joe Biden couldn't take questions is because he's old and senile. Are you saying that you are old and senile and you can't take questions? And in fact, if you go to certain news channels, they edit this part out. They do not want you to see Kamala Harris failing to answer any questions, shouted at her. Watch this again. This is the Democratic Party's nominee for president. Anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, and hate of any kind. And let us work to unite our Look, country. She's just really, she you. doesn't have to talk anymore. Madam Vice, President, Madam, Vice President, Madam Vice President, Madam Vice President, can you speak? Are you allowed to speak? Do you even run your own campaign? Donald Trump has no problem speaking to journalists, black or otherwise. Why can't Kamala Harris do the same thing? I wanted to examine two Donald Trump campaign ads that have been made now that the party bosses of the Democratic Party have selected Kamala Harris to be the presidential candidate for the 2024 presidential election. YouTube themselves have delisted and demonetized and canceled any of Donald Trump's campaign ads because YouTube and their corporate owners work for the Democratic Party. So you cannot actually watch a Donald Trump ad unless a channel like the Jim Heath channel actually sneaks their ads onto YouTube. But I want to talk for a moment about how the party bosses of the Democratic Party selected Joe Biden as someone they could easily control. They would just hand him from the very first week cue cards where he was given a script and they would chase reporters out of any meeting that Joe Biden had with world leaders. They weren't allowed to ask questions because Joe Biden could not think from Inauguration Day back in 2021. A massive fraud was perpetrated on the American people by the bosses of the Democratic Party. They fabricated Biden's entire presidential campaign and told him he could pretend to be president and someone else would be president, maybe a trio of 25-year-old female interns have been president acting in the Biden White House for the past three and a half years. And this seems like a massive conspiracy. You could almost call it an insurrection by lawyers of the Democratic Party. You remember when the American news media ridiculed President Donald Trump 
for the peace deals that he had signed across the Middle East, or the American news media simply didn't cover it at all, because all they were interested in was restoring the rightful power of the Democratic Party back into the White House, where the lawyers of the Democratic Party could run the country through edicts, fiats, and executive orders, ostensibly signed by Joe Biden. But you can tell here, and was revealed in the 2024 presidential debate between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, that Joe Biden not only is not president in 2024, but he's never been president. Look at this man reading his note cards, meeting the president of Israel. Joe Biden has never been president. It was all fabricated in order to maintain the power of the Democratic Party. Now we're moving on to Kamala Harris, whose job it is to take this same symbolic role in replacing Joe Biden as the figurehead of the Democratic Party, so that lawyers, shadowy Democrat lawyers in the background, can continue their unlimited power of actually running the country as presidents, hiding in the background while Kamala Harris will be this mindless figurehead that they can control in the foreground. Nobody actually thinks of Kamala Harris as a leader, not even in her own party. She is someone who was selected by lawyers of the Democratic National Committee in order to give them a place of running the most powerful country in the world. This is evil. This is pure evil. And she's in on it. Joe Biden was in on it. And that's why Joe Biden just meekly moved out of the way for Kamala Harris's 2024 campaign, because he was never in charge of his own campaign. He was a figurehead simply put out in front of it. I hate this to say that, but what else would the American people think of watching all of this unfold? Joe Biden was never president. The confirmation in this is that a secretive, shadowy group of advisors have been running our country to the disaster of the world. If you wonder why inflation is running rampant, it's because you've got a bunch of lawyers who have been running the Biden White House. Joe Biden did not run our foreign policy in the Afghan withdrawal. Joe Biden did not run our foreign policy when Russia invaded Ukraine. Joe Biden did not run our foreign policy when Hamas, under the orders of the Islamic Republic of Iran, invaded Israel and attacked and murdered American soldiers in Jordan and other locations in the Middle East last year. Joe Biden doesn't care about any of these things. All that matters is the power of the Democratic Party. And now Kamala Harris has been selected by these unknown lawyers, these unknown interns at the White House, to continue that mission. So let's go ahead and take a look at a short ad by Kamala Harris. We'll play the ad first. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. This is America's border czar, and she's failed us. Under Harris, over 10 million illegally here. A quarter of a million Americans dead from fentanyl. Brutal migrant crimes. And ISIS now here. Do you have any plans to visit the border? You haven't been to the border. And I haven't been to Europe. I mean, I don't understand the point that you're making. Kamala Harris failed. Weak, dangerously liberal. Be sure to subscribe. So again, thanks to the Jim Heath channel. Without him, YouTube wouldn't let us watch any Donald Trump campaign ads at all. I did not see any lies by Donald Trump in this 30-second spot. Let's go review the, the segments, because there's just three main points of this ad that I think we should examine. First, they show Trump as a leader. Notice he's doing a presidential walk there without Mike Pence. <laughs> That's kind of funny. This is America's border czar. Now, what's important about this opening segment of the ad, because the immediate attack on Donald Trump before he would even make a campaign ad about Kamala Harris is that he would attack her for being a woman because we all know Donald Trump is sexist, racist, homophobic, bigoted, Islamophobic, every other phobic that they have. But when you actually go back and think about it, even though they've been telling you that Donald Trump is all of those things for the past nine years, they never actually cite a specific example 
proving any of that. Donald Trump has had many female employees, Latino employees, black employees, Asian and gay employees, work for him since he became his own businessman at the age of 20. In the five decades since Donald Trump was 20 years old, not a single employee who ever worked for him, who got rich working for him, who became wealthy working for him, ever said he was any of those things. It's just a manufactured charge that the news media repeats 60 times a minute, hoping that you won't pay attention to the facts. But let's look at the facts of this commercial. Here we see Kamala Harris doing what we pretty much assume she has been doing as vice president for the past three and a half years, which is taking short work days, partying it up, and probably finishing every day with a margarita or similar alcoholic beverage. As vice president, Kamala Harris has had massive turnover in staff, and she can't actually point to anything she actually produced. He's failed us. Under Harris, over 10 million illegally here. That's a conservative number, and that's being polite. There may be 16 million illegal immigrants that have arrived and stayed in the United States since Joe Biden's inauguration day. A quarter of a million Americans dead from fentanyl. This is something that strikes home to me, because we all remember from George Floyd's autopsy report that he had three illegal substances in his bloodstream at time of death in police custody. He had fentanyl, he had a cannabinoid, and he had some form of methamphetamine, maybe crystal meth. George Floyd probably would not have died had he not taken fentanyl the night before or the morning before his altercation with police. It's as simple as that. Look at this. 300,000, probably, Americans have, have died from fentanyl. What is important here is that you have never watched any newscast by ABC News, NBC News, CBS News, CNN News in the last three and a half years personally blaming the Biden administration for these fentanyl deaths. And that's why fentanyl has never been reported as the personal fault of Joe Biden or now the personal fault of candidate Kamala Harris. Brutal migrant crimes. Brutal migrant crimes. Again, this is purely factual. You can go back and watch the presidential debate between Joe Biden and Donald Trump for 2024. Every time Donald Trump mentioned one of these horrific events happening under the Biden administration, look at Joe Biden's face. He would have this expression of incredulity and say, I've never, that's a lie by Donald Trump because I've never heard of that, which is true. Joe Biden had never been told of any of these problems being the fault of his direct policies. So he just said everything Trump said was a lie, and this was picked up by the news media. You've heard 90 minutes of lies from Donald Trump during the debate. Well, folks, if it was 90 minutes of lies by Donald Trump during the 2024 presidential debate, why did the Democratic Party order Joe Biden to quit? How could lies make Joe Biden quit? Let's watch the rest of this commercial, including the murder of American citizens by the illegal immigrants that Joe Biden has waved across the border, along with Kamala Harris. Those are the two major points of the ad. Let's watch the third point. And ISIS now here. Do you have any plans to visit the border? You haven't been to the border. And I haven't been to Europe. I, mean, I don't understand the point that you're making. This third segment, which was from an interview by Lester Holt with Vice President Harris, was included for a very specific reason. The Trump campaign wanted to show you the intense dismissiveness of Kamala Harris, the arrogance of Kamala Harris, the precise attitude you see her giving to Lester Holt, lecturing him. I don't know what where you're going with this question. She's basically telling him, you need to obey me because we're both Democrats and you're not allowed to ask me tough questions. This is the attitude she will bring as president on every topic, on every issue, before the American people. And it's important for you to watch Donald Trump's campaign ads, link to them, send them to your friends, because if you don't take a personal interest in this campaign, this is the fate of every American for the next four or eight years of watching Kamala Harris lecture you, the American people, the same way that she lectures 
Lester Holt in this interview. Watch again. Any plans to visit the border? You haven't been to the border. And I haven't been to Europe. I, mean, I don't understand the point that you're making. Kamala. And I haven't been to Europe. I, mean, I don't understand the point. This is all Donald Trump has to do as a candidate. And he'll, in his rallies, he'll do more. All he has to do is show you that Kamala Harris is that local bureaucrat at the Department of Motor Vehicles making you stand in line all day and then telling you you are denied. That's all he has to do, and America will be the better for it. Thank you.